Hi everyone, Daniel here again for our third and final video with our Golf Forever Swing Trainer. Today we're going to be going over some of our advanced movements um, and exercises with uh, using the Swing Trainer that you can incorporate into your workout routine or even as part of a warm-up before your round or practice session. These advanced movements are really going to focus on building strength. Um, in our beginner one, we worked on stretching and getting our body ready to hit golf shots. In our intermediate, we started to incorporate a little bit of balance and some strength training. In our advanced, we're focusing strictly on strength training to get some more power and strength in our swing so we can hopefully hit the ball further and more consistent. So our first exercise we're going to be doing today is going to be a modified squat. You can see here I've got the medium resistance band set up and anchored to midpoint again. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this, our swing trainer, our hands in between the G4, G5, G1, and G2. And we're going to take our step, steps away from the anchor point and hold this out in front of our chest. And we're going to be going down into a squat and straight back up. And then down again, and straight back up. And where this is really, you're really going to be feeling this is with the resistance band off to one side, you're going to be feeling like your body is trying to pull and rotate in, and you really want to be fighting that rotation. And that's going to be adding some additional strength to our obliques and our core while we're doing their squats and working on the strength in our legs. During the golf swing, we often hear swinging from the ground up. So if we've got nice strong legs and a nice strong core, that really helps allow our body to use that ground to increase the swing speed, which will result into further golf shots throughout our entire golf bag. And just like uh, I've been saying throughout our other videos, let's make sure we're doing a nice even workout. So after you do about eight to 10 reps, switch the bar onto the other side and again, Stepping away from the anchor point, down into the squat, and straight back up. All right, so for our second exercise, this is where we have to bring in a little bit of additional equipment if needed. You can just simply use a chair, or if you have a jumping box or something like that at your at-home gym, you can incorporate that as well. We're going to be getting into a lunge here with our back foot elevated. So I've got the anchor point to my right. We're going to have our right leg forward and our left leg is going to be back on that chair. And this is going to really promote that balance that we've been talking about, especially in the second video when it comes to our intermediate exercises. So our hands are again in between the G1 and G2, G4 and G5 with the bar closer to our chest here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to go down into this deep lunge back up and add a rotation and extend and continue doing that. Again, eight to 10 reps and we want to make sure that we're really holding to keep that balance. You can see there I've lost my balance. That's okay, especially after the first couple because it, it is an advanced movement. It's going to take some time to get used to, but just go nice and slow and make sure that we are really feeling those rotations and that deep lunge into that leg. And just as I mentioned with every other exercise, we want to make sure we are pulling the chair to the other side and getting set up to make sure we're working out both sides of our body. So again, this time the anchor's to my left, my left leg is forward, right leg is up, bar close to our chest, down into that lunge, up with the rotation and push out. And again, eight to 10 reps per side to really build strength and balance in our legs and start working that core to get even more strength in our golf swing. Okay, so for our third and final exercise, we're gonna be facing away from our anchor point. And again, our hands in between the G1, G2, G4, and G5 setting. We're going to have the band off to our right side and our left leg forward. Our 
our feet, just about shoulder width apart, just inside. And we're gonna be going into a reverse lunge and then kicking that knee forward when we come, when we come up. So we're gonna step back, down, up. And again, we're gonna be doing this eight to 10 reps and switching sides as well. So this time I've got the band on my left side. My right foot is gonna stay planted and my left foot is gonna be moving back into that reverse lunge going forward. And we wanna make sure we're holding our balance here to really feel the entire workout. And if we want a little bit more resistance, step further away from the anchor point. If it's too difficult, step a little bit closer. Again, just very similar to like our first exercise when we were doing our squats. You're gonna really feel a lot of twist from this anchor, from this resistance band. And we really wanna make sure we're fighting it and we're staying square. That way, we're not just strengthening up our legs, we're not just doing lunges or squats, we're adding the twisting feeling that we have in our golf swing. And with that, those are some three of my favorite exercises to really help build some muscle in your golf swing. So thanks for checking out these three videos on the Golf Forever Swing Trainer and some of my favorite exercises to incorporate this into your golf swing. We have these in the golf shop for you to purchase if you wish to add these to your workout routine. And we also have one on site down in our winter academy if you wish to use it before you're hitting some golf balls or before you're around to golf. If you have any questions or you're looking to get a little bit more detail about this, come visit me in the golf shop and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you so much for tuning in and looking forward to seeing you out on the golf course this summer.